Alrighty folks, and welcome to another episode of the Crack'em TV channel. So if you remember from the last video, the Neon survived the Derby, and I didn't win. Those two things do not go well together. The Neon is still alive. I'm, yes, I'm still alive, but I wanted to win the Derby. And today, the Neon is getting punished for its wrongdoings, for its mishaps, for all the times it has failed miserably in life. Today, we are going to punish the Neon. Like I said, the governor is no longer existent in the car, meaning that... You could tack her out to pretty much whatever RPM range you want, and there's no computer there to tell you, no, that's not allowed. Let's come over here. As you can see, she's fared pretty well, minus the uh, wheel pretty much coming off the car pretty much completely. But other than that, she's held up, and I didn't. Like I said, I didn't win. So today, the Neon will suffer. So what we're gonna be doing today, we are pointing the Neon towards the woods jacking her up just in case the tires do decide to start spinning because if you remember from the last episode somehow they don't spin even though the driver's side cv axle still connected so we're going to point her towards the woods take a giant rock and just slam it down on the gas pedal and see what happens ladies and gentlemen if you ever want to see a dodge neon blow up but are too scared to do it to your own dodge neon i recommend first you do it to your own dodge neon because they're pieces of junk and they should all be in the junkyard because you can't win a demo derby with one they're just terrible vehicles. Second of all, if you don't want to do that, you're going to get to see what happens when you do do that right here on the Crank'em TV channel. Alrighty guys, so here's the plan. We have cameras set up all around the perimeter to blow this neon up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking a brick right here. We're going to start the car up and just cold start red line or all the way. Immediately this brick is going on the gas pedal. And we're just going to see what happens. We have three cameras for you guys to watch the action. One on the motor, one on the steering wheel to watch the tack. Just put her in the red line. And then we're going to be holding this camera for a wide angle. Just in case, you know, the Pistons decide they want to go to astronaut school. Let's get to it. Just to show you, we do have some protection here. We're going to be hiding behind that 90 Chevy bed over there. So hopefully no rods or Pistons could shoot through that. But enough of me talking. Let's get right to doing this here. If you like content like this, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Let's fire this hog up and see what happens. It's going to take me a little bit to finagle this on there, but... shut her down and drain the oil out of it and then we're coming back because we want to see this thing blow up apparently it's pretty hard to blow one of these things up so 
Maybe Dodge Neons aren't as big a piece of crap as I thought they were, but they're going to be. It's still going to pay for making me lose a derby. We're draining the oil right now, and then we'll get back to you. See you in a bit. So what we're going to do this time, so it actually blows up at Redline, not just because we started up with no oil and it blows up at like 2 RPM. We're going to have to have like John stand, get ready to hold the key because it won't start if the pedal swat to the floor. John's going to be there to crank her over. And as soon as he does, freaking rock to the floorboard, and we take cover because she's going to blow fast. Okay. It's safe to go up now, I guess. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my goodness. There's a puddle of oil. Okay, yeah, you see if it'll run again. <laughs> oh. Come on, girl, you can do her. She's your life, son. Come on, old girl. Don't let me down. She's crying for help. Oh my gosh. It's saying, help me. Just keep going. I know your red line rebuild there. Well, this, this was the red line rebuild right here at Diesel Heifer Performance. I, I just, what do you mean? I just, I just got it rebuilt yesterday and you're telling me it's not going to run now. They, the red line rebuild didn't work. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. A Dodge Neon cannot survive more than like five hours with no oil. Honestly, it did pretty good. I was like super surprised by how long that actually lasted because I thought as soon as we put that rock there, I thought like within like 15 seconds, it was going to go kaboom. But you definitely heard the change where it had just like a little bit of oil pressure left. And then there was nothing. It just went boom and started smoking or it wasn't really a boom, but you definitely heard the change of the motor. And that was pretty cool. I've never done that before. So definitely a cool experience to watch a motor blow up. I've always wanted to do it, but never wanted to do it on something I cared about. So now that we did it on the neon here, check that off the bucket list. Heck yeah. Vacuum, uh, She's a... This is actually how we check for vacuum leaks, guys. You see, what we like to do is we like to redline, rebuild the motors, and then when they start smoking, you can find out where all your vacuum leaks are. See, if I wouldn't have blown this motor up, I wouldn't have known that it was running a little bit lean, and I could have blown up the motor. So it's a good thing we checked. John's going to try to start her again. She'll come back to life Should in a little a bit. Starter. Yeah, we well, should put a high-torque mini starter in her, and then I think she'll Should revive herself. Motor? Exactly. We need to take the motor out of your truck to put it in oh, here oh. Just, to start this motor. Oh yeah, and don't go away yet because we've got one more thing coming up in this video that's pretty cool. So we're gonna head over there right now and then you guys will get to see it. Let's go. All right, you guys, to finish off the video, we're not just gonna end it with the neon blowing up. We might end it with this unit blowing up too. We're out on kind of a back road, kind of not, and we're gonna see if John's truck can do a burnout. He has almost no tread left on his back tires. So he figures that why not just send him off the right way and uh, pour some bleach down and let's see what she could do. So hopefully something good happens here. We're gonna see how much smoke he could pump out of the old all-terrain TAs there. So let's get to it. Here we go. See what she can do.
Oh, heck yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> so here he comes again. Round two. Round two. Oh, he's going for it. Not that time. Reverse burnout. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna call cops. Okay, let's get out of here. Send her out of here, boy. Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, I think that's the car right there. <laughs> Oh boy. Zero to 60 in like two business days. <laughs> Dodge computer for sale, Dodge Neon computer. All wiring intact, nothing's missing. Come get it, 500 or best offer. She is in really good shape, guys. Wait, what the heck? How's the light still on? The only thing that survived from the neon, but we can't have that die. <laughs> it just hit the ground. That's air time. The neon is now completely dead. Well guys, I think that's gonna about wrap it up for today's video because as you can see, the Neon is no longer in the yard anymore since I actually wound up bringing her to the scrapper the other day. I figured since she couldn't run and couldn't drive, I couldn't really make any more videos with her, so no point in having her sit around the yard. Plus, it's not really what my channel is about. I'm not really a destruction channel, but I just thought that would be a cool little three-episode series that you guys might enjoy, so... If you haven't seen the first two episodes with her, you should go check those out because they're pretty cool. But besides that, in the next video, we're actually going to finally get to work on the square body Chevy, the old Colorado K10 that was sitting there in a few of my older videos, but she's now sitting in the garage back there. So we're going to be diving into that because that has a bunch of issues that I need to work on and get done before winter. Because as you can see, the leaves are already off the trees and it's going to snow here pretty soon. They've already been calling for some snow. So I really want to get that truck done because I do not want to have to drive my Monte Carlo in the snow. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like videos like these, don't forget to like and subscribe for more cool car content. And I'll see you next time right here on the Crank'em TV channel.